SO, a very amazing Christian hip hop rapper says, your life is not yours, it's his, and anything less than that is sin. Welcome to the DCIKZ Live Series. My name is Wangashi Mwaniki. Paul, in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 28, one of the most common verses in the Bible, talks about, says, all things work together for those who love God and who are called into his purpose. Many times when we quote this beautiful part of scripture, we say it in our favor to encourage ourselves and say, all things work together. And then we refuse to understand that it is a conditional verse, that all things work together for who? For those who love God and who are called according to his purpose. So if you do not love God, if you are not called according to his purpose, then all things do not work together for good for you. That's just the sad truth. And so how then do we make sure that we love God and we are called into his purpose so that all things work together for us? As the conditional verses i'll lead you back into matthew um the last chapter jesus is about to ascend he's living he's done his great work he's about to live and he commissions the disciples to go out and 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 spread the good news and con and, and tell others of of his goodness and baptize disciples in the name of the father son and the holy spirit that is the purpose of every christian to go out and tell of christ's good news then back to the first conditional um, in all things work together. Talks about to those who love God. The greatest command Jesus tells the disciple is to one to love God with all your heart, all your mind, and all your soul, and to love your neighbor as you love yourself. That is the only way you're able to keep God's command and love him and show that you love him. By loving him to keep his commands, by loving neighbor, and then by fulfilling your purpose as a Christian, by spreading the news. And then after all these things, all things work together for your good. And so this is my challenge to you, dear believer. Are you loving God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength? Are you loving your neighbor as you love yourself? Are you living out your purpose by telling others about Jesus Christ? If you're not doing these things, then Romans 8.28 is not a promise for you. How then do you get a hold of this promise? By one, loving God with all your heart, all your mind and all your strength, loving your neighbor as you love yourself and telling others about the good news of Jesus Christ. And then after you have done all these things, together we can say Romans 8.28 that all things work together for good to you and me because we love God and because we are called according to his purpose. Barack, amen.